Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to create a Python script that will post messages in a Teams channel. So this is pretty useful if you do like a lot of automation and whenever like a pipeline finishes, it will run the script and then it can post like a message inside your Teams channel. Or you could throw that Python script inside a Lambda function and then whenever that executes, it will send like a message to Teams. So here I created a sample team called Ruben Team and the channel will be called just general. You used to be able to do this using like connectors and like the webhook, but I think they're removing like functionality for new like um, instances of that. So we're going to um, actually click on view more apps, the three little dots, and then type in workflows. For me, it's already here, but if it's not here for you, just type in workflows. And then we're going to add a new flow. There's like templates, but we're just going to create one from blank. And then here we could search for like the first step. So we could type in webhook. So when a team webhook request is received, that's what the one we want to select. I'm going to select anyone for this tutorial. Here's going to be the actual URL. It's not generated yet, but as soon as we save this, it'll be generated. So whenever we receive a webhook request, we want to do something. And we want to do post teams. Post teams message in a chatter channel. So whenever the re the request is received, the next step will be to post the message. You could have the message look like it's posted by user, which would be yourself. It'll show your profile or Flowbot, which will look like an actual bot, but it'll still say your name. So I'm going to do Flowbot for this example. And you could select where you want to post it. For me, I'm going to post it in a channel. And then we want to post it in my sample team. It's called the Ruben team. And then the channel is just general. And you can have it. Just be like a static message. So whenever Python sends a request over, it will just post message, but that's not as cool. So we're going to click the little code view section right here. And we could delete this. And then we could type in at trigger body. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get like, we're going to extract the message from the payload that we're going to be sending in. We're going to do at trigger body question mark message. I'll put the actual like um, this in the description. So one thing it's kind of weird about this, if you just have it like this, you just type it out, it'll actually send this as plain text. But if you cut it and then paste it back in, it'll send it as a Teams message. You can see like the Teams like message logo. So all of that looks good. We cut and then we paste it back in. All of that looks good and then we'll save it. And then once this is done saving, we'll actually get the URL. So the HTTP post URL, we'll copy that guy. It's copied. And then we can actually open up a code, uh, our code editor, just VS Code. I have a script called teams.py. I'm importing requests and then JSON because we're going to be using these. I didn't have requests installed because this is like my personal laptop. So I did pip3 install requests. OK. So now we can actually create our, our Python like a script that will actually send a Teams message. So we could define like a Python function. We could call it send teams message. And then here we could pass in a message of type string. Okay. So we need to define the webhook URL. We could just call it uh, webhook. And that's the actual URL. And then we have to define our payload. We could set payload equal to, I probably should have had this typed out already, but uh, we could do it together for the video. It'll actually be the message itself. Okay. And then we have to send in our headers, which will be the pretty much the same um, syntax as the payload. Let me just be sure I type this in right first chance or first try. And then our headers is going to be of content dash type and it's going to be application slash json and i think this looks all typed correctly okay and then we're going to create a response we could spell Did I spell response yeah i think so and then we'll set that equal to requests dot post 
and then we'll send in our webhook along with our headers, which we just called headers, which makes it easy, along with our data, which equals JSON dot dumped. And then in here, we'll send in our payload. Cool, and then everything looks good if I didn't misspell anything, and then we could actually call our function. So we called, we named it teams message. Let me actually define a variable. We'll just call it message. And then we'll set that equal to, my name is Ruben. And then we'll pass in the message. And if all this is correct, it should just post this teams message. It should post this message inside of teams. So I'll run this Python file. It looks promising, and then we should open up Teams again and go to our team. And as we can see here, it posted the Ruben Ortega via workflows. It looks like it's a bot. And it'll say, my name is Ruben. And then we could play a little bit, play a little bit more with it. And we could say, hello from Python. I never spelled Python correctly, so let's see if I spelled it right this time. And then we can run our Python file. And if we open up Teams, it should say, hello from Python. 